Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on high performance SUV session today, right? We are looking at, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of people that throw out pioneers of the SUV high performance movement. I say the SRT Jeep, uh, if they weren't the beginners of it, they certainly do it maybe the best in the world. When you talk about these early ones here, if you've never driven one, first off, they are fast. Most of these cars came with V6s, which were plenty of power. This has the Hemi V8 in it. You got plenty of juice under the hood. It is ready to go. It's got all wheel drive. This one has some performance upgrades. And I also think too, and while I can't predict the future, that this is a future collectible classic. You say, Tone, how could you possibly know the future? And I say, you know what? You're right. I don't know much about anything. But here's what I will say. When you have low production, good looking, right? Um, a vehicle that's, that's driven relatively low mileage uh, in addition to its age, say this one around 7,000 miles a year, and it's got modern convenience and comfort in it, that says the future is looking good for that. 911s, early air-cooled 911s are a perfect example of that, where sports cars back in those days were a little more archaic, and then Porsche was just a more refined vehicle. This is exactly what we have here. Fresh set of tires, fresh brakes, state inspected, like all of that stuff's been done versus buying a car uh, from somebody out on the street that you don't know anything about. We've changed the oil. It is ready to go. It's ready to, for delivery. This is, uh, uh, I believe, almost all original paint on here, right? It's been electronically metered, so uh, we're going to look at the quality of that as well. Those are the factory forged wheels, which I think good look good, as well as that uh, dual exit rear exhaust pipe. This great front air dam here sets these vehicles apart from regular Jeeps. You know right away that this is a high performance version. You throw in the big brakes. Those are Brembo brakes, by the way. Brembo's on a Jeep, all right, from the factory. All right, by now you've probably seen the pictures, and if you haven't seen the pictures, you're seeing the video first, but go back and check out the pictures. Crystal Red Inferno is a great looking color. We're inside here under the LED lights, and it looks great. You should see it. The sun makes all the metallic in this thing just pop, and it is good looking. It's a color that they carried for many, many years. And then come up here, and this is factory paint, and look how nice the job is, and how you can see all those letters crystal clear. This has really, really nice paint on it. Again, I'm back to a future collectible. This vehicle is almost 20 years old now. It's approaching its historic tag status. You can put historic tags on in our state once they hit 20 years. That's pretty cool. All right, let's say you wanted to go to a car show with these because there's not a lot of them out there, right? They didn't make a lot of these. They were very expensive. This car is almost $50,000 20 years ago. $50,000, that's almost like $100,000 today, okay? Uh, this has the big Hemi in it, 6.1 liter engine. Remember, these came with V6s, V6s as a standard engine. You put in a V8 with this much power, it is ridiculous. Throw in the overdrive automatic and a gear set upgrade in the rear, and these things are snappy fast. I've driven this car several times. I was very surprised at how fast it is. All the modern conveniences, four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, uh, all the aluminum components in here, strut bar in here for uh, rigidity. Nicely detailed, decals are all in place like they're supposed to, and just looks fabo. You know, I like to do this view where you're walking up to it before you get in it so you can kind of visualize it a little bit. And you can see this is very different looking than a regular Grand Cherokee. From the big wheels and tires, the giant brakes hanging outside, the front and rear ends of it. But believe it or not, once you get inside, it shines just as much, if not even more. Let's check that out. So why is this different inside than a regular Cherokee? Well, let's talk about that. First off, we have these nice uh, Alcantara and leather seats here, right? Very different with big side support bolsters. Uh, this has a 180 mile an hour speedometer. You're not gonna find a 180 mile an hour speedometer on a regular Jeep, you know why? Because there's no reason to, right? Climate control is here. This has some nice features like electric pedals. So the pe all the pedals move back and forth electrically, so you don't have to get the wheel. You don't have to drive like this, and you don't have to drive like this. You can get everything just the way you want it, right? Climate control for both sides, uh, heated seats on both sides, like all of this modern, modern stuff. This uh, here, let me go ahead and turn this on because it looks so nice. Sanders held a hearing today to introduce the right to our and it's married and it's and it's married to the whole digital system here but it has all of the features that you'd want full gauges on the dash as well and then uh, 
more importantly, when you hit the fire up the key, this thing sounds different. Make sure that we get you a sound clip of this car starting because uh, it looks really good. This also has a glass sunroof, right? Plenty of seating for everybody. This is like the high speed uh, family go to the track on Sunday, maybe take the, the family out to dinner on Monday. All right, so back here we get a little bit where the SUV, the sport, the utility vehicle came from. What do I mean by that? Well, first off, let's go with sport, right? We got a very different bumper and rear setup back here for uh, these SRT8 vehicles with a call out as well. We got this Corsa exhaust. This thing sounds really good. That sounds way better than stock. Okay, and as you're able to shift the car if you want to, um, it just makes this beautiful sound. The next part about it is though, is that is it a utility vehicle, right? And what does that mean? Well, for instance, like the back seats fold down or they split, you can put uh, tons of stuff in here. It has power outlets back here. This is kind of cool because you can take this tray and flip it upside down for storage if you wanted. So your groceries and stuff like that don't slide around. It goes on and on killer audio system in here, climate control, the windows are tinted already, it's got like all this great stuff that's already happened. It also comes with a car cover. The car cover may not seem like a big deal to you. So you tell them that's a car, well, how much is a car cover? A couple hundred dollars? That's not my point. My point is that if somebody has this vehicle and they have it in the garage and it's covered, obviously it's well taken care of. And you can see from the condition of it and what we're doing in the video right now, that it's really very, very nice. All right, so let's close up the video on here. This is, uh, this is surprisingly fast. First off, it's all wheel drive, right? So uh, off the line, it is gone. While most other cars are figuring out what's happening, this thing's already gone. It has a great sounding exhaust. It has beautiful paint. It's got 20 inch rims. It's got Brembo brakes. It's got a gorgeous leather and uh, Alcantara interior. 180 mile an hour speedometer. I don't know who was thinking about that. That encourages you to drive fast. Not that I would ever, but maybe I've seen it done before. Anyway, uh, super, super car, especially for the money. Super car. Call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you what I feel about this pioneer of the SUV sport race utility vehicle. Um, and uh, we'll tell you all about it. I'm repeating myself, but if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. Uh, that helps get our message out. Share it with your friends. They might like to see the video too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one. You know, at any time that people suspect that a car has some miles on it, in a car like this, they get 250 to 300,000 miles out of these V8s. But anytime you think about that, here's a good way to check and see what kind of engine you have. You do a cold start. This is cold. We just pushed it out of the showroom. I'm going to start it for you uh, just so you can see because the initial startup, whether we smoke or not like that, we're going to look at that and we're going to hear the sound. <laughs> 